Hey, I'm back. This is Mimi off the beat. I decided to change for this video into a sweatshirt just because I didn't want to get it too confused with my um, winter essentials. This video is going to be about fashion trends that is probably going to take place in spring going into summer 2022. Now there's already been a lot of like runway shows in Europe and Paris um, showing what is coming out but and there's already a lot of YouTube videos about the 2022 summer and spring trend but some of these videos is missing a lot of stuff it's missing a lot of like streetwear and what's selling out in stores and stuff like that and what people are actually looking for so i just want to jump in and kind of add that stuff so i'm seeing a lot of like 60 inspired type stuff i'm seeing a lot of bright colors and i'm seeing a lot of um yellow orange um royal blue and pinks and when i say pink when i'm saying these colors um i'm talking about colors that's like kind of like a lisa frank binder also it's the year the tiger so there's a lot of stuff that have like tiger inspired print on it um this is like an example of like the bright colors that i'm talking about i already started buying stuff that's kind of like bright like just recently i went to a fenta shop and i got this denim um pink striped shirt and it's pretty um it's not a super bright pink but it's kind of bright and i think this is going to be really popular these type of colors especially yellow and orange when it comes to um summer style okay um also colors like this is going to be popular like for sure when it comes to like late spring and summer when we hit like july and august and stuff like that um also what i'm seeing right now is a lot of stuff that's on these two shows emily in paris and on the new season of sex in the city there's like a lot of like styles that i'm seeing there that i can see transitioning into the spring emily in paris um berets they are um i'm seeing a lot of girls wear berets um berets um right now in new york and i think more towards the spring when we're out of this really harsh winter um we're going to be seeing more people wearing berets in a lot of different colors like maybe pink orange blue stuff like that i'm also seeing this hat a lot um this is mostly like for now i don't really see this going into um i guess if it's a different fabric like maybe lace i can see this being like lace and people wearing it like in the summer and in the spring but we see what happens this could probably just be popular because of covid because this hat really does cover like a lot of portions of your face and it covers your neck um what i also see think is gonna be popular that i'm seeing a lot on the streets is trucker hats um, I think trucker hats are going to be very popular in the spring going into the summer. They're making them in a lot of colors. They're making them. Urban Outfitter actually have one in this coral color. Oh, I can't press it because it's a picture, but they have one in the coral color, as you can see right over there. Um, I don't... This is like kind of a mix of like Y2K and I'm seeing a mix of also the 60s. Um, I'm saying the 60s because just the colors of like the royal blue and the reds and the greens and the yellow and the orange that's and print.
prints. That's why I'm saying um, 60s. Because I see a lot of like prints that's like together in items that's really popular. I see that being popular when it comes to spring and summer. Um, I see a lot of like suits kind of like um, Dior show actually had a lot of like suits and those suits reminded me of the dresses that I saw for Dior in the museum so I think it's kind of like a homage to back then um, another thing that's really popular is kind of like the box square bag so bags that kind of like look like this Louis Vuitton has a very, very expensive version of that bag. And um, I also see wooden bags being just as popular as well. Let me see. I took a picture of a um, Chanel one that's like pretty pricey. But I could also see wood bags. Bags that's made out of wood being popular also but any bag that's kind of like boxy square um louis vuitton makes a lot of these type of bags and on the runway they had it um black and white black and white is always popular i can see black and white being very popular in the spring in the summer i can see the colors coming in but i'm gonna say black and white it's just traditional i'm not surprised that black and white is um going down the runway because a lot of people wear black hair in new york black is a popular color um in the summer and in the spring so it doesn't really matter like doesn't matter what time of the year people love wearing black in new york and um white is very popular also but white is always popular with a different color so I saw black and white and yeah, I'm with it. I have a lot of black and white stuff in my collection. So yeah, I'm all for it. Um, one thing that I didn't really see was lace, but I have a feeling lace is going to be popular because in Emily in Paris, Emily's wearing a lot of lacy stuff, but she's kind of like layering it. I can see that being a trend like putting like a sweater um, over kind of like a lace see-through type shirt also I see lace being popular because um, she also had like a bag that had lace on it or two on it and then I also see lace being popular when Bridgerton comes back because Bridgerton is coming back this year in March so I think once that show comes back and it's going to be like a slew of kind of like Bridgerton type stuff. Also what's related to Bridgerton is pearls. I think pearls are going to be fairly popular this year. Um, I was watching Sex in the City and on one of Charlotte's bags she literally had like a pearl bag strap going across. I actually want to try to find that. I'm going to Amazon as soon as I can to try to find something like that and put it in my box. I also saw on Emily of Paris like big chunky pearl necklace. Um, I'm not really into that, but pearl is going to be popular again. Pearl is going to be popular when it comes to putting it on your bags, wearing it as jewelry, stuff like that. Um, let's see what else. I wrote down a lot of stuff. Um, point to toe shoes. Um, I see point to toe shoes coming back more like classy, work, elegant. If you have an event to go to, something like that. Um, penny loafers, that is coming back. That's also something that was kind of like 60 expires. Huge hoop earrings, and I don't mean like regular gold hoop, huge earrings. I mean huge like earrings that are like maybe shells like constantly white and they're so big that they're like touching your neck like huge like that i'm not really that much into that type of trend because i don't wear big earrings like that but if you like big super huge earrings that's 
go for it um i also saw big bags coming back which was very very surprising um i don't think i think mini bags like really small mini bags um are still gonna be popular but like small like this size because in the summer you kind of tend to wear less clothes and you really don't want to be holding a big bag or over the place i see the big bag trend kind of like coming back early spring like maybe march april and then in the summer i see people kind of like switching to kind of like those wooden bags and those box bags i also saw um kind of like the bowler bags but tiny versions of the bowler bags but um i also saw boxy type of um kind of like a clutch like a boxy clutch type bag those seem pretty popular too and that i saw on the runway um louis vuitton always has a really great variety of those box type of bags um it seemed like they're gonna be coming out with more of those type of bags because boxy is the new thing when it comes to bags i saw some denim but i'll be honest with you i didn't see that much denim only louis vuitton had the denim on the runway um i see denim being popular when it comes to like denim skirts and just wearing denim differently like not like denim when it comes to denim jackets even though of course people's gonna still wear denim jackets like denim jackets never really go out of style but i mean denim when it comes to like wearing it as like a dress or wearing it as like a skirt like that like this that i just got which is kind of like a denim pink skirt i see denim kind of like swishing it up a little bit when it comes to the summer like different colors and different patterns and just wearing it differently not like a typical denim skirt kind of like yeah typical denim skirt like this yeah i do see that but kind of like also like a just a very more upscale fashion type of denim dress or denim skirt like that um i saw a lot of sequins sequins is always popular but it was like sequins for like summer um night out or something like that i thought that was very nice um capes capes are coming back um i think the capes are gonna be like just get a cape black white red any of those like bold type colors um louis vuitton had all the capes in black though so maybe just get a cape that's black um the cakes with the capes were very embellished like feathers and stuff like that but i think if you just get a cape that's like classic white good quality or classic black good quality you can make it work for you when it comes to going to work and stuff like that uh, I saw like sandals that look like boots um, it reminded me of kind of like gladiator sandals I do feel like maybe it's a possibility gladiator sandals could be coming back this for this summer I'm not sure um, but it was kind of like a boot type sandal situation but gladiator sandals do look like they can be boots so we'll see i'm not too sure about that but it seemed like it was, it's a lot of 60s stuff coming back there's a lot of like sequins there's a lot of color there's a lot of um anything that really has to do with, with the 60s there's a lot of fringe like stuff like that is coming back so it's kind of like 60s mixed with the 2000s if that makes sense also in caps and more hats 
more like towards hats. Um, flare jeans are coming back. So flare jeans jeans are coming back. This is why I'm saying like 60s because it's very like 60s, 2000 type stuff. And also the newsboy hat. A newsboy hat. Get a newsboy hat. I have one. And I didn't even hardly wear mine last year because I wasn't really out like that. But newsboy hats, if you could get in like even this color, like a yellow or blue or red, I think it would work. Um, yeah, that's it. You know, I felt like some of these um, videos that I saw that I was talking about, okay, what's going to be happening in the... Um, spring and summer like they wasn't really pinpointing like everything oh something else and I, I totally forgot about this um this is becoming very popular in new york it's kind of like a varsity jacket um also varsity jackets that are kind of related to a university they had them on Urban Outfitters and they sold out. This is something you could find kind of like at a fancy shop, but first, varsity jackets are definitely on trend um, going into like the springtime for sure. They're like the new, I have to say they're like, they're gonna be like the new denim jacket. Instead of you buying a denim jacket, you're gonna want a varsity jacket. Um, what else? Let me look back on my list. Okay, pearl denim. Okay. Oh, and, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I pinpointed everything. Bags that look boxy, pointed toe shoes. I could see that coming back because Kamala Herrera had a lot of, like pointed toe shoes. Also, there was a lot of shoes that was kind of like lacy, that was kind of like going up. And a lot of like shoes that was like, um, like lace up type of shoes and lace up type of um, boots as well. Um, yeah, I think I pinpoint everything that I feel like is gonna be popular when it comes to spring going into the summer um i think black and white is definitely going to be very popular this spring but at the end tail of spring we're going to kind of like jump into the colors and yellow i have to say i think yellow is going to be the most popular color this um summer if i'm wrong you know, I'm wrong, but I saw a lot of yellow and a lot of orange on the one way when it came to like shoes, boots, dresses, um, stuff like that. I think in the spring, it's going to be coral. I think that's going to be the color trend for springtime. Do not quote me on that. Let's see if there's a cold dress on Bridgerton. <laughs> if there's a cold pressure on um Bridgerton, then I'm spot on. But we'll see, because I did see like a lot of stuff also that was like cold color. And I was just like, okay, is this going to be the new color? Because I remember like watching something recently and it was like oh my god quote was so ugly i think that was gossip girl that was gossip girl yeah quote was just <laughs> i think i think the mom bought like a, a coral made a coral dress and it was like the coral was an ugly color <laughs> but it would be interesting though if it's really good for um if that's the color for the spring but, you know, like I said, I'm not sure. Or this that I'm saying can change because it's still kind of early. So we'll see what happens. And even though some of this stuff is showing on the runway, I'm also adding stuff that I'm seeing kind of like on the streets. 
and one thing I'm seeing on the streets is definitely the varsity jackets and the berets. I'm also seeing pearls and I'm not really seeing capes yet. It's still kind of cold and I'm not seeing pointed toe shoes. Um, yeah, but I, yeah, I'm definitely seeing the varsity jackets right now. Um, mind you, it's winter, but the fact that it's so hard to find a, vars a varsity jacket right now, I think I have to look kind of in the vintage spot for that. And big statement jewelry pieces. I don't really see that right now, but I'm sure I will probably see that at the end of the winter going into spring season, like maybe March or April probably April though um yeah that's it so um I just wanted to come and tell you what I think is going to be my prediction for 2022 spring summer this year um and we'll see what happens we'll see if those bright colors is what's going to be in and we'll see if we see a lot of yellow um and we will see if you know pointed toe shoes will be coming back into the office so um yeah so if you really like this video and you really like my predictions and you think i was like spot on i'm definitely spot on when it comes to those um wooden bags and those box shaped bags so I do see big bags, but the bags that I'm seeing is just way too big. Like they look more like vacation bags. I'm definitely not gonna be on that trend. Um, but I could see big bags being popular like now in the winter, especially with like winter getaways and you know, you just wanna go away for a couple of days or something like that. Um, I think small bags are still going to be in. I'm not too sure about mini bags, though. But apparently, I'm still seeing mini bags on the TV shows. And no offense, it's kind of weird showing up to a restaurant after work and you carrying this really huge, big bag. So I think little bags are still here to stay. I just don't see them going anywhere i think they're just gonna come out with more like bright colors like um this color of pink and probably like a brighter orange and brighter yellow and stuff like that so we see what happens all right thanks for looking at this video give me a thumbs up and please follow me on me off the beat and follow me also on instagram um, I have some contact there, not a lot, but I do have some. I think I'm going to post some more stuff from my Dior Museum um, trip that I went on with my friends just because um, a lot of that stuff that was 60s expired at that event I'm seeing also in the Dior um, fashion show. So my review is definitely a mix of like streetwear and what I'm seeing in TV shows and what I'm seeing kind of like on the runway. And that's how I'm making my prediction. All right, please follow me and I catch you in the next video. All right, bye.